Body acne is something that I have struggled with pretty much since I first got acne in the third grade. And it's something that people didn't prepare me for. Most of the summers I would actually cover up and I would wear jackets during the summer, I would wear sweatshirts, I wouldn't go to the pool and wear swimsuits because I hated how people looked at me. If you look at my childhood photos, like you can never find me wearing white in my teenage years. And it's because if I even laid down or sat against like a bench or a bleacher, my back acne would pop and it would get like pussy and bloody on my skin. It was disgusting. As I have grown and become a medical esthetician and learned about my skin, I have found ways to treat my acne that work for me. And as the acne big sister who wants to be there for you the way I didn't have someone, I try to help others online understand their skin. But I still get breakouts both on my face as well as my chest and my back regularly. And I wanted to share with you my body acne routine and what I do. And I wanna be super honest about it because I could sit here and tell you like, oh, you know, my ideal body acne routine has like 10 different steps. I do a mask and then I run set and then I do like this acne clearing LED light facial to my scapulas. Uh, and then I apply a serum and then a face mask and don't get me wrong, I have slapped a face mask on my back a couple times when I'm done using it on my face, but my body acne routine is actually very simple. And the reason behind that is because science. You know, skin is skin is skin. And there are slight differences. For instance, how thick skin is here versus here versus here. And there are slight differences in how irritation prone, like your neck versus your chest and your face can be. Uh, but overall, the skin is very similar. And when it comes to treating acne, we have medically proven ingredients that we know help. Those are things such as salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, there is sulfur, and there are retinoids. Um, and and that is what works for me. Now, again, for me, I love skincare. I consider it a form of hygiene and self-care, but I don't have time to do like a daily back acne mask and like apply like a special serum and then like, you know, do magic voodoo on my back pimples. I actually keep it really simple. Uh, the first is in the shower. I basically wash my body with a benzoyl peroxide wash. I like the Panoxyl one. It's inexpensive from the drugstore. Um, it's a little bit more gentle on skin than other benzoyl peroxide washes. There's another one from Smack Me that I really like. And then there's also this one that I've been using from Dr. Zenobia. I really like this. It's benzoyl peroxide. This is actually made by a doctor for hormonal acne, and um, it's basically 10% benzoyl peroxide. So it is a little bit more intense, but I use this and I just kind of use it as a body wash in this area. Benzoyl peroxide helps to exfoliate the skin. There's a bond in benzoyl peroxide that breaks when it comes in contact with heat and water. That releases oxygen, and that oxygen is what kills acne bacteria. This also does have aloe vera, so it's supposed to be a little bit more soothing. I don't find this benzoyl peroxide to be as irritating as others. I'm sure we've all tried proactive. If you've had acne, you've probably tried that three-step nightmare or the Clinique one. Um, but unlike those, I actually really like this and I keep it simple. I just put it on and wash it off. And I don't really use benzoyl peroxide as like a moisturizer. And the reason why is especially on your back, it stains everything. If you have, you know, that purplish grayish stained bleached towel, you know what I'm talking about, the benzoyl peroxide nightmare. And because of that, I really like to use benzoyl peroxide just in the shower only, and that's what I do. And then I could sit here and apply like multiple moisturizers or things like that. I honestly don't have time and even the reach can kind of be a struggle. So what I use is just a salicylic acid acne spray. Um, there are two that I really love. This one is from Sandra Lee MD. There's another one from Verst, and both of them are basically salicylic acid. And these come in a little spray form, so. You just kind of spray this and mist this onto a problem area and it has salicylic acid that helps to exfoliate and get rid of breakouts. Salicylic acid is oil soluble. It is a large molecule, but it goes really deep into the pore um, and it's been medically proven to help get rid of acne. It's a little bit anti-inflammatory because of the way it works. It does help to exfoliate the skin. And I literally just kind of spray this on even underneath my clothing and it helps mitigate breakouts. Now I could probably do this stuff 10 times better. I could probably use a regular serum. I could probably put on like a back acne facial you know there are some masks that have like kale and clay in them that could probably be really helpful um, but for me I've come to the point of accepting my acne and even though it still bothers me on some days I don't let it control my life and anything that I use to treat it is going to be simple and efficacious for me and not going to take me a million freaking hours in the morning and the evening to take care of and if I were more diligent I could probably be better I also find that my hormones play a role my stress my sleep my 
diet. If I'm chugging sugary coffee with coconut creamer, um, it's probably not as good for me as if I were <laughs> eating a little bit more of a, a balanced diet, and I know that. But these are things that I'm willing to sacrifice, and you know, my body acne doesn't control me anymore. And yes, I wear swimsuits, and I wear open necks, and I look and feel sexy and attractive and empowered when I want to, with or without my body acne and my breakouts and my flare-ups. That's just so crazy to think of how different I was and how insecure I was to even look others in the eyes with my breakouts, hiding behind trench coats and hoodies, and even hiding behind my bangs so that people couldn't see the acne on my forehead. All of that in comparison to now, where I see my flaws as features, and yes, I'll try to treat my body acne, but you know, it doesn't define me. I hope that you can do the same. If there are other products and medically proven actives that have helped you with your body acne, please leave them in the comments below because I know my routine is not the most extensive. I do have another body care routine that I do on like my legs and arms sometimes. If you would like that or if you'd like a routine for what my body routine would be if I didn't have body acne, that could be a fun one too. Um, but overall, remember to see your flaws as features. Uh, take me as proof that it's possible to love the skin you're in and do remember to apply SPF to your back if you're going to be in the sun or even better wear UPF like protective clothing that actually protects from the sun. Reapply that sunscreen, stay hydrated, and be beautiful both inside and out, front and back. I love you beautiful butterflies and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.